Welcome graduates to your instructional guide for the baccalaureate hooding ceremony. This milestone is a significant part of your academic journey and we're here to ensure it proceeds smoothly and professionally. To help demonstrate the process, we have human models who will show each step in detail. Your academic regalia includes the academic gown, hood, and a graduation cap. Let's focus on your academic hood. It is made of velvet fabric in your school color on a dark blue velvet shell as the outer side. The inner side is in satin. The tapered V-shaped end, showing the school color lined with a Filipino tapestry design, will be worn in front of the neck while the long V-shaped end with the university name printed on the inner satin side will be draped over the back. Now let's walk through the hooding protocol step by step. First, make sure your hood is draped over your left arm. The tapered end should face inwards, while the chevron or school collar should be near your hand facing outward. The graduation cap should have the tassel hanging over the right face. At the beginning of the ceremony, you will hear the first strains of music. This is your cue to turn towards your parents or spouse. Take two steps forward and present your hood to one of your parents or spouse. Remove your cap and present it to the other. Next, your parents or spouse will place the hood over your head and onto your shoulders. If you are taller than your parents or spouse, lean forward while lowering your head, or you may slightly bend your knees for your parents to reach over your shoulders. Smooth the front end of the hood so that it rests comfortably over the shoulders. To keep the hood in place, secure the front edge of the hood to the first button of the academic gown and the portion draped over the shoulders with safety pins. Keep the university logo patch on the upper left front of the academic gown visible and not covered by the hood. Remember, do not add any embellishments to your hoods. The hood should remain as it is, representing your academic achievements. The other parent or spouse will put back on the graduation cap. Again, either lean forward while lowering your head, or slightly bend your knee for the parent or spouse to reach your head. Ensure the tassel remains hanging over the right side of your face. You are given some time to take pictures and give congratulatory pleasantries hereafter. After the hooding ceremony, we highly encourage you to tell your parents or spouse to proceed to the gym immediately. This will help streamline the transition and ensure everyone can gather for the graduation ceremony without delay. Let's recap the key points. Drape your hood over your left arm with the tapered end facing inwards and the chevron near your hand. At the music cue, turn to your parents or spouse, take two steps forward, and present your hood and cap. Parents or spouse, will place the hood over your head and secure it if needed. Next, they will put back on your graduation cap. Do not add embellishments to your hood. Spend some time for pictures and congratulations. Inform your parents or spouse to head to the gym immediately after the ceremony. We encourage you to practice these steps with your parents or spouse to ensure a smooth and graceful hooding ceremony. Congratulations once again, graduates. 
We look forward to celebrating this achievement with you and your loved ones. Thank you for watching and best of luck. See you at the ceremony.